the New York Knicks have until midnight Eastern to reach a buyout agreement with Joakim Noah in order for him to sign elsewhere and be playoff eligible with another team. This brought up in our morning meeting whether somebody would want Joakim Noah for the playoffs, but nonetheless, we know he has been away from the Knicks since an alleged altercation with Jeff Hornacek in January. Here's how <laughs> producer Tucker imagined that looking. No, yeah. you have um, to go. <laughs> seriously, uh, would it be smart for the Knicks to part ways with Joe? And, and I'm not ripping on Joe, by the way. I, I'm just saying that I'm not sure a playoff team is looking to pick him up. Right? I don't, go ahead. I, I, I mean, it's, it's been rocky. And when it gets to the point where it's physical between player and coach, that's not what you want. It's a bad look. I don't know how you rekindle that, that relationship. Um, he wasn't the type of player that they expected, especially a $70 million player who he was in, in Chicago. That player is no longer who Joe Kim Noah is. So I see a buyout. I don't see any playoff team picking him up because he hasn't played all year. Why would you pick somebody up? That's and what you I don't, mean. Yeah. Right, so you don't know what you're getting. I, I look at it from a financial standpoint. It's that, that's this. I don't want any dead money on my books long term. And what I mean by that for the viewers is if they cut him and they stretch his salary, they have to carry 7.6% or 7.6 million in cap space well into the future. That's the difference when they are contending in a few years, when Porzingis is on the top of his game, to be able to go out and get two max guys right. or, or say, oh, no, now we have to trade you know, Avery Bradley for right. nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so it just... I save that space. Don't be carrying that yeah, dead but then money. You're what? You're saying that they should buy him out for 18 million? No, no I'm saying that just, just like him. just keep, keep him. him on the books. Just keep him on the books. And is that a workable situation in a locker room, Tracy? Well, I mean, you keep him on the books, but keep him at home. Like like Milton so, in office space, like down and you know, just like steepler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that contract's not over at the end of this year. No, no. I mean, they're just gonna keep him away from the team for there's some paperwork. The definite I mean, no. future. <laughs> Doing some promotional yeah. appearances? I, I just don't want that dead money on the books when it's time to contend in New York. I don't know. This doesn't seem like a long-term situation, and we've already seen Michelle Roberts and the Players Association kind of throw their support to Joe, so we'll have to see how this works out.